In today's video, I'm going to show you how to count cells in your Excel spreadsheets by their color using a little bit of VBA. We're going to write our own function, and we're going to have some fun. Here we go. Okay, so let's say I've got a column of cells here, and I've got them assigned various colors for whatever reason. These could be colors that you manually assigned. These could be colors that are assigned by conditional formatting. For any number of reasons, you want to count the number of each color in this column. Now, the easiest way to do this is to make your own count color function, which we can do with a little bit of VBA. So I'm going to make a little key over here. Let's say I want to count the red, the green, and the yellows. Okay. And I'll use the format painter just to copy over the formats. There's red, there's green, and there's yellow. All right. Now, to make our own function, we're going to have to have the developer tab on. Okay. If you don't have the developer tab on, you're going to right click somewhere on your menu bar here, go to customize the ribbon. And then in here, just check on the developer tab. Hit OK. And now you'll see this developer tab. Now we can add our own VBA functions and all kinds of cool stuff. So come on over here, click on Visual Basic. This will open up the VBA editor. We're going to come to this little button here, drop this guy down, and we're going to insert a module. Okay, a module is where we can put our VBA code. We're going to create our own function. So I'm going to type in public function. That just means everybody can use it. Count by color. That's the name I'm giving it. And we're going to send it two bits of information. One is the range we're going to be counting in. And then the second parameter is going to be the target cell's color. All right, or the target cell. Okay, so cell range as a range, and then target cell as a range as well. Okay. Now I need to track the target color, which is the color of the target cell. Okay. I'm going to need a variable to track the count, because I have to count up. And then I need a, a temporary variable just to track what specific cell we're on. So. It's going to be dim target color as a long, count as a long, and then C as a range. C will be my individual cell that I'm on as I'm looping through this range. Now the target color is going to be equal to target cell dot interior, fancy word for background, the background color, right? And then color index, All right? That gives me the background color number. Right, every color's got its own number assigned. We don't have to worry about what those numbers are, okay? But that says, of the target cell, this guy right here, or whichever one I point it, right? Give me the background's color index number. Now, I want to loop through this range and count up the number of cells that have that same color. So, for each C in cell range, do some stuff in the next C. All right, what's the stuff I want to do? Well, if c.interior.colorindex equals the target color, then count equals count plus one. Okay. Those extra blank lines. So loop down each one of these cells, right, for each C in cell range, each cell in that range of cells, check its background color and see if it's equal to that. And yeah, we probably could have done this without setting up a separate variable for it, but it's not a big deal. And when we're all done, we're going to set the value of the function count by color equal to whatever that count is right there. And that's it. That's not very tough, right? We could have done this with probably, let's see, one, two, three, four lines of code. All right, it makes it, it, makes it a little easier doing it this way now. Okay, so save this, control S. Okay, and now since this has a macro in it, right, some VB code macro, we have to change the workbook type here down to a ma macro enabled workbook. All right, an XLSM file. And I'll call this my count by color. Hit save. All right, now we can get rid of this. We just minimize it for now. Now we're going to come right there and put our actual function. So I'm going to type equals count by color. There's my function. 
All right, first is the range. Click and drag over that range there, or you can use name ranges, whatever. I'm going to hit F4 to make that an absolute reference. And if you don't know what these terms are, come watch my full Excel courses. All right, absolute references, conditional formatting, all that stuff. I cover a lot of stuff in my Excel courses. Comma, the second variable that it needs is the target cell. All right, close that up, press Enter, and look at that. There's three red cells in there. Auto fill that down, and there you go. There's one green and two yellow. And that is how you make a custom function to count cells by color. That's it for today, folks. I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more Excel, stop by my website, excellearningzone.com. I'll put a link in the description down below the video. I've got dozens of lessons on all kinds of different topics from beginner to advanced. X look up, V look up, pivot tables, you name it. ExcelLearningZone.com. Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost.